everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of the Royals. So today we're going to just straight up take a mission. Um, we should be good to go, I think. I'm going to try and take this two and a half skull. Um, it's in a remnants of a um, decimated diamond shark unit fleeing the uh, fleeing the planet. So we're going to try and take them on. I don't know how we'll do two and a half against the clans. It could be good, it could be bad, but we're going to go full salvage. Uh, just to see what we can get out of this. We're doing okay fi with financially, so I'm not that worried about it. So let's have a quick look here. Now we're going to go ahead and swap out. Who are we swapping out? Um, we don't have a Lance B yet, so I know Vengeance and China Doll have to come out. Dragon comes up to the top in the Wavern. Actually, do we have... I think we've got the Royals here, right? That should load everybody in properly, right, Wrangler? Yeah, tugboat. I think we're good to go then. The only difference in the pilots is um, I had enough XP for Ren to get another level of tactics, which increases an, his initiative by plus one, which is kind of good. So, I mean, hopefully that helps a little bit in this match. But, um, yeah, fingers crossed. Uh, let's drop and get this done. Uh, yeah, you say that. Command interface initiated. All right, here we go. Biggest fear is they've got more than one lance, but I'm thinking uh, they might. Ah, damn it. Ready for action. Yeah. So, problem with playing Battletech so often is you get it used to the maps and the scenarios. So, generally in this type of scenario, you start here, and we already can't drop over here which means they probably got reinforcements or are going either that or they're really spread out or they're going to get reinforcements generally when the lance is up here a second one spawns behind them oh wait 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 i got the map backwards hang on a minute i could be wrong um yeah generally you start here there's one lance and then the second lance back here and it looks like there is probably a second lance back here uh, so these guys start out spread out across here. So what we want to try and do is do a defeat in detail. We want to try and kill as many mechs as we can while staying hidden from as many mechs as we can. Um, I'm thinking we're going to drop here in the trees, work our way this way, use the cover, and try and kill them individually. As long as we're not facing like a lot of long range units, should probably be okay. Let's just drop here. Ah, shit, we might have a guy on a, wall, on a rock here. Which is bad. I mean, I could be wrong, too. It might just be that they're spread out along this line. So what are we up against? A viper? Griffin? A bandit? Wavern? Okay, not too, too bad. Do we have an idea what the loadouts are yet? No, we don't. Hey. Alright, um... Hmm, how do we want to do this? How do I want to do this? I don't want to open you up to shots from the other side here, but... Do I want to reserve? No, I don't want to reserve. Okay. We don't really have protection, so let's get up here. Let's just get on this bandit. Bandit's got a lot of armor, so we got to try and take care of this thing as quick as possible. A pair of mortars, so yeah, it's got to go down. L lousy back armor, so if we can get in on it, we hey. will. Tight. Bad luck. Yeah, first turn's gonna be lousy. It's fine. Oh, I can see the. That's a Medusa. Paraplasmas and some sixes. That's not good. Yeah, we do have another lance back here. Oh, this is gonna be bad. Oh, we gotta kill these guys really fast. PPC streak. Can't let that guy shoot from range. Viper. AP Goss is a medium proved heavy. Plasma cannon's down though. That's a pretty heavy loadout. So we gotta kill that guy. Although that's an improvement from our waiver. It's got way more hard points. Might be worth grabbing parts from that so we can swap out with ours. Alright. Um, let's get up here. We're gonna conserve our LRM ammo on this one. 
Let's go with the lasers to start. We got the one shot thumper too, but I definitely want to just be using that um, when we've got a bunch of guys that are bunched up. Negative damage. This first turn's going to be garbage anyway, man. Uh, it's going to really depend on how these guys move. What's up, boss? It's going to really depend on how these guys move. Double time. Let's <laughs> so go. apparently, uh, and I didn't know this, is that you can. In order to switch the number of rounds fired, you can actually shift... Oh, you can't. So, Tracer... Oh, I'm, I'm using the wrong shift, that's what it is. Yeah, sorry, I was using the right shift, it's the left shift. Um, we'll switch them all at the same time. I did not know that, but now I do. So there's that. Um, yeah, we're not taking the shot. Hold on to the ammo. I have a feeling this guy will probably pull back anyway. But this waiver, and I don't know, we're not going to take it down in one turn, but hopefully we can hammer him really hard and cripple him at least on turn one. Okay, nothing. Okay. So I've been considering uh, turning the Wavern into a uh, a faster, closer range attack, like pulling the LRMs off, putting SRM. And, oh, he's pulling forward, putting SRMs in instead. That's nah, not good. Got to avoid taking as much damage as possible here early on. These guys are at least mm, uh, two or three turns out, depending on what they have. That's the Wavern. What's up, boss? Yeah, I mean, we could turn the, uh... We could turn the, um... On my way. Double time. The Wavern into a close attack. With heavier lasers and SRMs. And then use the, uh... The, um... Uh, 31%. I want to use it. Oh. 20 points. Turn one is always lousy. Um, turn the uh, Clint into a long-range missile boat instead. But right now, I mean, it's fast. I mean, I don't know. Maybe the rolls are reversed. Maybe the Clint should be close range. But it doesn't have a lot of weight like that it can support. So a pair of LRM, Clan LRMs on it might be better off. I don't know. I haven't 100% decided yet. Okay. Hopefully, uh, hopefully we can dogpile one mech at a time. I really hope. Once we're out of this line of fire, we're going to feel a lot more comfortable. you got another whole turn before you're completely out. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Get this way. On my way. Double time. We got good backstab capability with the adder and the mislink, so I'm hoping that we can utilize that a lot more. Uh, that's really hot. I'm not going to go that route just yet. We'll fire all this though. Didn't even get the tag. Oh, it's all right. That's all right. First turn's always lousy. We'll make up for it. Second turn. Waiting on you, Commander. Let's get out of there. Let's get right Got into it. here. Max speed, no shooting. Okay. Uh, yeah, LBX. This thing's got lots of ammo, so I'm not worried about firing everything all the time. Alright, well, did some damage. Okay. They got a Sentinel. Hasn't told us they've got an additional latch yet. There we go. Sensor trace. Looks like enemy reinforcements. <laughs> do we want to wait and see what this guy does, or do we want to try and kill him now? Let's try and kill him now. Stay over here. 
We've got lots of cover, so I'm not worried about that. As long as they don't have a lot of indirect. Like this is one guy with indirect. Don't want to burn some LRMs on this. We gotta kill this guy. I mean, he's gotta go away now. So let's try and let's dump everything into him. Ah. Uh, this with all the important stuff. At least the tag's on. At least the tag's on. What does he go? 10? Alright, we got a pretty good chance to take him down before then, I think. We've got three other mechs. I could try to melee him from behind, too. Like, the Sentinel might be able to get some work done with that. Like, kick him from behind or something. Alright. Light damage, Commander. Yeah, I think we're gonna like As long as you keep doing that, I'm fine. Okay. Got something you want done? So we do have the ability to can we get behind him? That's a behind attack. So if we kick, what are we looking at for percentage? 37% chance to hit, but then we can follow up with the chem lasers. Let's give it a shot. Move order received. Not the best chance to hit, but you never know. No, it's fine. All right, we got one. We got one chem laser on. Hopefully it's a back strike. Why would it be a back strike? Why would it be a back strike? Yes, Commander. What? That's like... I know we're grouping up here, but let's get to here. Copy that. He's got to go away, so we're going to hammer him with everything. Nice. We've got tugboat still. Full sprint sounds good. Mm-hmm. Keeps us out of the fire. Let's get into here. You'll say so. Now, as long as they don't have any artillery units, we're good. <laughs> they haven't fired anything yet, so I'm assuming they don't. All right, so left shift. We go with everything. I know it's going to make us hot for a turn, but I'm good with that. God, no lasers at all. Really? Really? Well, now he goes. He gets to get away. We had the firepower to kill him. We did. Well, oh no, we, go, we get to go next. Which means I think the Zoria should probably take the shot. Although the Hunter's got a, I don't know, good half decent chance with the Flamer and machine guns. What can I do for you? Standing by. Twenty-eight damage with the flamer. But the chance the hit's gonna be ah oh man, really. I hear ya. Yeah, we got a way better chance to hit with this guy. It's gonna drop if we move in, but yeah, shit, I can't I can't really get any closer to him than like. I'd have to go, like, right here. It's not the best move, no need but I gotta try twice. for the kill. I gotta try for it. 37. I'm gonna go with the cluster. We gotta get more damage on it than anything. Alright, it didn't cluster anyway. Okay, cool. We got a chance to kill this guy. Not necessarily this turn, but definitely... Oh, well, he's going to take fire damage, too. Ooh, he's decided to stay here and fight. Mm -hmm. 
Yes, Commander. Copy that. I think we're pretty safe here. I gotta try and finish him this turn. I don't want to wait till next turn. Uh, let's go. Locked on. Missed with the flamer. Well, at least he's sitting in fire. That'll help. Is he? Or no, the fire burned out around him. Okay, we got a Clint 2. C. With only the ballistic, so it's probably an LB or an AC-10. Hopefully it's an AC-5. <clears throat> There's no way to know for sure. Yes, Commander. All right, now. Um, can't expose to too many guys at once here. Who's that? That's the Viper, but that's not going to give us a good chance to hit, I don't think. What now? You've got to drop heat anyway. Going as fast as I can. So let's just move over here and try to finish this guy off now. Uh, we'll leave the machine guns off. Wow. Um, let's see if we get lucky. You say so. Shooting from the side doesn't hit the side. It will hit the front, though. Ready to get it on. I'm gonna reserve you. See if anything opens up. See if we get a chance for a shot on somebody. Okay. I think we do the same with you. It's all right. Standing by. Ooh. Do I want to expose just yet? That's the question. Let's reserve again. It's going to knock our initiative. Oop. It's gonna knock our initiative back next turn. Waiting but, on you, Commander. Um. Yeah. Standing by. Let's reserve again here. We are not in a good position. We are not in a good position at all. I'm thinking, I don't know, like if they all decide, to, like these guys are closing too fast for me. So that was this guy, the Medusa. Commander. God, I don't like this, but we're going to do it. I don't like it because we have a chance to shoot our own guy here, but we're going to just uh, leave that off. Tag can stay. Leave the ER medium off. And hopefully we can kill this guy. Nope. He's down to six. Commander. I really want to kill that Viper. But the problem is, is if I move to expose here, we got at least three guys, maybe four, that can start shooting back. 
Um, I'm going to do something here. We're going to move over here. That'll keep me hidden. I'm going to brace. Standing by. Man, I really don't like the position we're in. This f fucking guy should be dead. Like, he should already be dead. I'm going to turn my side here. We're going to try on it. try and get him. Just using the small stuff. We don't need much on him. So, we're leaving these off. ER small, small pulse. Let's see. Hope we get, hopefully we get lucky and hit the side. I don't know. Putting one in the back. No. Man, we can't even kill... I mean... The hunter's still got to go, in, in all fairness, but we couldn't even kill this guy. And now we're all grouped up. It's like, really? Really? That's bad. Nice try. Good to go. Okay, no flames in the... Oh, wait, shit. Ah, damn it. Oh, well. Didn't think we had any flames. Um. Yeah, worth it. On it. There we go. Finally. We can salvage that. All right, we drew first blood. Now it's what nine versus six. You? I got a one and a half to one odds. So let's get over here. Pedal to the metal. Get as much evasion up as we can get going. They decide to shoot for you. And I don't think we've got a good chance to hit anybody here. 11%? Well, it's not too bad. I want to start on the Viper. Viper's got 649. It's not too bad. That's the Medusa's got a little more. Griffin's pretty good. Solitaire doesn't have much. Clint doesn't have that much. Ooh, Wavering. we got a good chance to hit that. So we're going to fire at that. It's got 780, but... We could probably do more damage to this than we can to anything else, so let's just take the shot. So, what is this back here now? That's it. that's the Clint. What was this guy? Maybe it's a second Clint. Wait. Oh, uh, maybe not. I can't remember what that guy was. Look at they're all grouping up now. Okay. Um, So, this position, they'd need to back up to get a shot at me, but they could do it. How, what are we looking for? We don't know what the chance to hit would be here. Um, let's find out what they're doing. I hate reserving because losing in, like losing uh, points off initiative for next turn, but at least he's not rocking the thumper. If he was, we, it, it, I'd have to leave because we'd probably just die. I mean, we were, we've already taken more damage than we should have. That mortar is like ridiculous, but that was really the threat because he would have mortared us continuously for a long time if we hadn't killed him. And that damage over time is... You don't think it adds up to much, but when you don't really have heavy mechs, it does have to add up to a lot of damage. It adds up to the difference of whether you can successfully engage somebody or not. Okay. You know, we're going to reserve again. I really have to see Go where... Camp here until I see an opening. What opening we've got. Like, if we can get a kill real fast on somebody... We're going to take it. Even if we could just cripple somebody, you know? Like if we could take a side. Okay. Yeah, they're set up pretty well there. I hear ya. Do we want to go for a shot on the Clint? He only gets one shot in return, though. Moving to position. So we're gonna take a shot. 
We'll, we'll do it while we can. We still got some pretty good frontal armor. That's actually a good shot. Oh, I know we know his weapons in this arm. All so. Are go. Okay, not bad. A little bit of damage output. We might go. I might move the sentinel over there too. Ooh, Wavern has moved itself into a position where we can target it. Is that it? The Zoria is not going to survive this battle. For orders. Do we dogpile the Wavern now? We have enough guy, enough guys that can make it here to make it worth it. Like everybody's got to shoot at him. Let's try and make oh something God. happen. Let's do it. Let's try and make something happen here. That's a pretty good chance to hit. I am taking that with everything and firing. God damn it! The thunderbolt missed. Oh well. We panned though. We have a chance to kill this guy now. Because I think the Wavern is not running. I don't think the Wavern runs a uh, Clan XL. I think it's just a regular XL. Oh, we got somebody with ATMs back here. It's probably a vehicle. I don't see it. Okay. Commander. I think that needs to be your spot. Oh, shit. If we go here, yeah, that guy can see us. Let's go here. On the move. Full speed. Hopefully that'll force maybe that Viper to expose next turn. So there is a second Clint. And this guy's fully armed. That's the Sentinel, fully armed. Okay. Uh, let's leave the ER media. Ah, no, we gotta... We gotta go for a kill, so let's go with everything. Good to go. Hit. Nicely done. I'm here. That'll help out next turn. It's a frontal shot, but we're taking it. Let's get up here. Up for what it's worth. And everything. And hammer him. Okay, so he's not running XL. Or if he is, it is a Klein XL. But that hurt. I'm melting in here. Yeah, Please shut up. Go. This guy's gotta die. This is not the best place to be. But we don't have another choice. Not if we're Aye gonna on. get the kill. So really, really, really don't shoot your guy in the back. Like, really, like, just not do it. Confirm. Okay, there we go. Let's go. Hostel, Eight to six. Orders. Okay, I want you up over here, and I want you firing on the Viper. So my thought about shooting at the Viper is if he takes a little damage, he may decide not to push forward. Roger. I don't know. It's a long shot, like a real long shot. Oh fuck, we had the opportunity to kill the Viper. When are we all going here? I have no idea when he goes though. Shit, we don't have the opportunity to kill the Viper. Let's take our kill and back up. We'll drop our heat this turn. No, no reason to get greedy. I mean, we could have, like, we could have gone to here to try and engage the Viper. Although, this, these guys might still get the shots at us, so it's probably better we pull back. Take our kill and back up. Oh, thank you. Appreciate that. <laughs> at least it's not just me that's doing that. So that was 80 damage. It was probably an armor, a leg hit. A leg hit. Sweetness. He could have killed them, too. Oh, no, maybe not. 
He could have torsoed him, but not not killed him. Oof! Nice shot. Losing armor left and right here. Yeah, I see that. Commander. We got a mech though, so you can't complain about that. Let's just back up a bit. Moving out. Just back up a bit. We're gonna take the shot at this guy though. Uh, leaving the thunderbolt off. We will fire the rest. Hopefully, we connect. Oh, fucking hit our own guy. Ah, oh, for fuck's sakes, really? All right. That was really bad. <sighs> really? 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 Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, for fuck's sakes. Oh. Hopefully they don't have anything with splash damage or I'm fucked. Really? How many times have fucking Waver and shot our guys in the back? Well... We're down another mech. We're down, down a mech. We gotta use him as a quick strike unit then. I'm ready to cut my losses and run now, but... I mean, there's still a chance to pull it off. It's how much I'm willing to lose to do that, right? So we'll see. Okay, they're doing jumping, jumping jacks here. He's still got lasers. We're gonna target that second Clint though with the wavering. Standing by. Or the first Clint. Sorry. Back it up. I know we shouldn't be standing next to each other, but I don't really have much of a choice at this point. Gonna shoot this guy. Hopefully we get something here. Hopefully. Oh, I wonder if I should use a thumper. Is this the moment? 22%. As long as it lands close by, there's a chance we could bring that guy down, which I think would do... Let's just do it. Firing. Okay, it did some good damage. Not enough to do anything amazing, though. Take that. Hopefully we can follow it up with something next Black turn. On AC ammo. Although we still got the Zoria. We can bring it and the LRMs. Okay. Both of these guys are unstable. And if we can get enough initiative next turn, we might be able to hit this guy pretty hard. He took a back hit from the Thumper. Viper's trying to flank and he's got the speed. So he's our next target. Receiving you. I am going to expose the The hunter to that viper. Moving out. To see if he takes the bait next turn and drop our lerms on this guy. Confirmed. Not hitting where I want. If we get a knockdown, I'll be happy though. Ah man, that fucking mislinks though. Awaiting orders. The Viper's in a kill position. I don't think they've got any more Lerms. They've got ATMs. Because I'm just going to do this so that the Viper doesn't have a chance at a back shot. But I think even if I go like this, he probably doesn't have a chance. I'm going to move here. We're going to try and take this Viper next turn. I think he's made a critical error here, but we're going to brace it up, get our heat back. What can I do we're going to go all in on that Viper. Let's get the Zoria up here. Clint, please. Back. Clint. Firing. Firing everything I've got. Yes. Wrong arm, but damage. Another hit like that, and you're toast. Wrong arm, but good damage. Rabid Coyote. What weight is that? Looks like it's like a 45 ton, 50 tonner. I have no idea. That's probably the ATM mech. So hopefully they reinforce. They've only got. Hopefully they've only got four reinforcements. Wait, two Clint's Sentinel, and this. They got five. Okay. I don't know what the hell that guy's doing, but a little bit of moonwalking. I guess never hurt anybody.
Okay. Receiving you. Shit, that guy's going on 21. It's before everybody. It just exposes. I gotta wait to see what he does. I don't have a choice. I have to wait to see what he does. Because if we can't dogpile him all in one shot, if I move out to fight him with one guy and then he goes, we're in trouble. So, oh, we only lost one point, really, for initiative? Okay. I mean, the other thing, too, is we go off. If, I mean, if this guy retreats, we go after the Clints. Because they've pretty much given themselves to us. They don't have a lot of armor, so that's the next logical choice. If I could at least pull the AC off of the Clint, one of them, then I'll just ignore it. The one with the two medium lasers, it's like, eh. If we can get a finishing shot on it, we'll take it. But if we don't, we don't. You know? Gotta make sure that guy doesn't get into position with that Gauss rifle. Or if he does, he's got guy. We got guys, or he's got guys between us and him. So he can help us out a little more. Man, could you imagine if the Sentinel had the Gauss rifle and we missed and we would have cored the Adder. Or the uh, Mislinks, I mean. We would have just cored it and it would have been... <laughs> uh, but as it stands, I think we hit with both the large cam and one of the uh, Ultra rounds. Which really, really sucks. Where are you going? He took the bait. He took the bait. Excellent. Okay, that gives me the chance to kill that Viper now. We just gotta make sure we capitalize on it and it happens. So... Okay, 80 points through the back. And 100 points in the back. Clan XL. So we gotta do both torsos if we're gonna do them. It's pretty good armor on that Viper. Ready for orders. There is no way to get side shots on this guy. So do we just go right up his nose? What do your front armor look like? It's pretty respectable. Medium heavy is probably in this arm, I'm guessing. AP gosses are probably in the torso and the plasma is probably in this arm, probably. Let's just get on him. Got it. Let's show him what kind of mistake he's made here. Let's hope we show him that. Engaging with time. Big one misses again. Let the tags on though. It's going to help out. Awaiting orders. See, no matter what I do here, I can't angle in a position that he cannot get behind me. You know what I mean? Like, he's going to get behind me if we don't take him down. Oh, God, I don't like this at all. I do not like this at all. Let's not go too far that way. I copy. Let's not go too far that way. It'll give those guys an angle on me. This is pretty good here. We'll take it. Roger that. All right, not bad. Lost evasive. What no? No, that's where I want to put the mislinks. Let's go right here. Oh boy, here we go. This guy has made a critical error. We go with everything. You say so. No retreat. Nice. Enemy down. Alright, we saved the mislinks for the turn. Um receiving you. 
We go this way because this guy, if he's got ATMs, could be a problem. Commander. Affirmative. Let's keep on this guy. Affirmative. His good arm is still good, but there goes his left torso. Critical hit, Commander. Waiting on you, Commander. Let's hope that fire doesn't spread to these trees, but we're going to back up to here. Get at least a little protection from the trees. Now, we, we can't really hit this guy, but I don't care. We're going to fire at this guy this turn. Good damage. Alright, let's see what they do. We've almost made this an equal match. They've still got... I mean, they've still got some scary mechs. These two guys are pretty much... I don't want to say pretty much done. But they're at a point now where they can't really do anything. Um, let's go here. They're probably going to send somebody. I noticed the AI likes to have somebody within visual range. So that they, at least it helps their their teammates out being able to see us. So they're going to send somebody. I'm hoping it's not the I'm hoping it's the Medusa. Because I think the Medusa is a bit more of a threat than the Griffin with the two plasma cannons. And the dual SRMs. This guy with the ERPPC is bad. But it's a one shot hit or miss, right? The plasmas can fuck up our heat. And in this environment we can't not be shooting when we need to be shooting. So that's why I consider him a little bit more of a threat. But we'll see. Oh, maybe it's the solitaire. Or not, maybe it's not. He didn't move very far, though. Okay, hopefully that guy stayed in a position where I can take a shot at him. Okay, those guys are kind of exposing there. But uh, since I've got two mechs that are close range only, it's not enough of an exposure to warrant me moving over there and not, like, I'll take probably more damage and return fire than I'll dish out in straight up fire. Okay, you do that. Okay, thank goodness that was a miss. The hunter's taking a lot of damage. Ready for orders. I don't see these guys getting out of here fully intact. So, somehow he can see me, but I can't see him. How does that work? On a projectile weapon. Like, honestly, if you think about it. How do you projectile-wise fire straight at somebody, and then they can't fire straight back at you? It's confusing at, at, le at the least, but we'll move over here. Roger. Get into the li what little trees we have left. Uh, and let's continue on with this guy. Copy that. At some point, it'll take its toll and he'll die. You. Dropping our know. heat. If they were to rush us, we'd be dead. For orders. Flames on the way. Oh, man. I the grouping up is ridiculous, but... At this point, we don't really don't have much of a choice. At least they don't have mortars and they don't they don't have uh, artillery. I hear you. Let's move forward a bit. You betcha. Same guy. At some point he'll die. You betcha. Reporting. Just brace it. Keeping my heat low. Let's see what this next turn brings. So really with the two Clint's gone, it's just these five guys left. I have a feeling the Sentinel will probably okay. die last. Don't have enough juice to really do do much. 
that's a size shot in the griffin but he hasn't gone yet so I don't want to give him something to shoot at so let's just reserve it for a second sure just forget about me oh just forget about you for a turn just sit there and wait I want to see what this griffin does or at least somebody on this side I mean we could just push out and hammer them all or hammer somebody like we're all in a pretty good position to shoot some one person on that side but I don't think we've got enough juice to pull one person down in a turn unlike the Wavern and the Viper these guys are standing in trees and most likely be braced so they'll be taking a lot of reduced damage and then it's gonna be an open battle like next the turn after it'll be just like who gets to shoot first okay go that way yeah the more you go that way the more happier I am that means just the less the the less number of guys that might have a chance to shoot back at me. Okay, Clint's moving forward. He's taking a little bit of damage, not much, but a little bit. Good to go. Ooh, we got everybody going. So do we have that's no fire on the way. We have a shot at the Griffin. The only person I'm concerned about Standing is by. Dragon. And you've got a shot in the Griffin. He hasn't moved yet. But that doesn't matter. Well, no, it does matter. Because that means he still has a shot this turn if we go. So if we don't kill him with these four, he's going to move. Which means he'll get a shot back at us, which means sure, it could be an issue. So let's just see what he does. Let's just give him the move. Or. Or. How much armor does this guy have? I don't know anything about him at the moment. Wait, did that say 200 and something armor? Ooh, the Griffin's decided to take action, has he? Ah, oh, fuck, that's bad. 873. ATM 12, medium pulse lasers. Uh, the Griffin's got, what, 780? He shielded his PPC. Ready for orders. We need to go after him now. Let's go on him. He's taking the shot, he's in the open. This is going to maximize our damage, so we're going to fire as much as we can on him. Shit, we missed the big one again. Again with the big one! Let's see what they do. They've still got this guy here, I think. The Medusa. Yeah. He's not doing anything. Yes, Commander. He's not doing anything. Let's not get too close. Let's get in the open. Thunderbolt one shot. Ooh, we're at that crucial point where we need to like tip the scales. So let's see if we can get the shot on him. Yes, nice. Landed. Inflicted some heavy damage. I'm out of LRMs. That uh, we're gonna vigilance you. Yeah, come on. Calculate it. There we go. I don't know what we can shoot at this range, but we're going to shoot what we can. Then the next turn we're pulling out. We're going to fire it all. Okay. Damage on. Nice. Unstable. Waiting on you, Commander. He's very unstable. Mook. I think we need to back up and... Oh, shit. We got a lot of damage to that one side. Going turbo. I don't like the position here because our guys are in the way, but... Kind of. But if the Sentinel gets hit, he gets what he deserves. All right, we're firing at this guy. This should be good. Shit, that was way less than expected. Way less than expected. 
This guy's damaged all Holy over, way. which I guess is kind of good. It means his armor has been sharing the uh, the load. There goes his side. Not his PPC though. Some heavy damage. But that means we can burrow his ass. I'm here. Uh, I'm gonna vigilance you as well, because I want to get you out of there as fast as possible next turn. Let's get into here. Advancing, I guess. As long as they just keep kind of overexposing like this, then we're in a good. Oh. Why does it do that? I was just trying to click the machine gun on it, and it just fired automatically. Okay, that was the Clint. Wrangler and Tugboat still... Yeah, see, re reserving really kills your initiative. You stay back there, buddy. This ATM guy's coming in in a minute. We gotta kill him. So if we can pull the Griffin down this turn... We can switch to this rabid coyote, kill him, and then they're just, they're down to one mech that's really badly damaged and a handful of others. Okay. Okay, I'm feeling pretty good. This guy's going on 18, though. Tugboat goes before him, though. I wonder if we should move over here and see if we can get a side shot and finish him up. We're, like, overheated, though. How badly damaged is ECT? Not that bad. But he's not going to stick around, I don't think. He'll definitely move. Ooh, somebody else has decided to give themselves to us. Welcome to the party, my friend. Fuck the griffin, this guy's got to die. Saltair's got, like, no armor. Four forty-seven. So I think we rip him apart this turn. That's pretty much a free mech right there. If we land. That's the Clint. What? No. As much as I want you on this Griffin, you can't reach him anyway, but... Oh, right. The Griffin can probably come around and take a side shot at us, but I don't think he will. Simply because we got the uh, the stealth system on, it's going to be hard to hit this guy. But this guy, he's got good uh, defense here. We're going to be heating up, but I'm willing to take I that. Handful of damage. We'll have better initiative next turn anyway. Because we're not reserving right now. Okay, Griffin. Okay, at least the peep didn't hit. Well, he didn't fire it, but at least it didn't, he didn't use it. Here comes the ATMs. No. Nope. I wonder, he might only have HE ammo. Shit. That's gonna expose, isn't it? That's okay, he's only got pulse lasers otherwise. Make sure we're out of our minimum range here. Wow. We gotta take it though. Acknowledge. Can't not take the shot. Receiving you. I don't think you got the juice for this. I can't sacrifice you. I can't. Standing by. But I don't mind exposing this guy a little bit. A little better on the Griffin, eh? On it. Get that solitaire between me and the Griffin, so if I miss, maybe I'll hit him. Let's fire on this Griffin. Looked like the tag hit there. Yeah, good. I hear ya. Oh, 
Oh, this is iffy. I want to keep it as ra at range as much as I can, but it's going to give this guy an opportunity to take a shot at him. But still, I think we got to take this shot. Take this. Getting laggy all of a sudden too. I have no idea why. Ready for orders. Um, how are we doing frontal frontal wise? Seventy one. It's not too bad. But I don't want to expose to all those guys. Let's go here. Definitely a griffin shot. Yeah, we probably should have stayed on the griffin this turn. Given that guy's low chance to hit. Okay, that's nice. Ooh, that's nice. This guy, though, I don't know. Depending on how much he moves. Like, I'm sure he's got a Guardian ECM and stuff. So we'll see what he does. He's going on 24. That guy's fast, man. That Sentinel back there? Come on. Think about what you want to do. I would prefer it if you ran away at this point. Because having you right there, and me not being able to kill you, is really fucking annoying. Like, beyond annoying. You gotta go away. Just run back over here. That's what I would do. Just like, run over here, hide behind the rock, then come back next turn and scout a little bit, and then run away. That's what I would do. That's what you should do too. That's what any good mech warrior would do. Let's see how good of a mech warrior you are. He's really thinking about it though. He could kill this guy. Yeah, he's running. Did he go where he said? No, he's going back to the trees. Alright. He's they're basically giving us the griffin at this point though. We'll see what happens. He goes kinda goes before everybody except for Dragon, so I don't know. We might get the kill on him. If we get lucky with the uh, large, we could get the kill on him. If not, I don't know what that guy's going to do. If he backs up, we still got the uh, the Sentinel to, to take a shot at him from range. Is this Clint on the rock, or is he... He is on the rock. Okay, I thought he might have been behind it. So if we can't shoot the Griffin with the two vehicles, we might go after that Clint again with them put them in a position where we can just use our LRMs on that guy. I want to try and save their what's left of their armor. Okay, this guy's a problem now. Not using the ATM. Losing armor. Yeah, we have to get on that guy. The Sentinel can definitely face that guy down though. Or not the Sentinel, the Wavern. They got four guys, well, three and a half guys right here. This guy's a little bit wounded. This guy's greatly wounded. This Sentinel's doing nothing. So we could focus on this guy. There's those plasma cannons. Fuck sakes. Reporting internal damage. Yeah. Receiving you. The reason why I didn't want to expose on this side too much. Now we're split. We've split our forces. Nope, I want to get the better shot on. Let's get here. Do a bit of armor sharing. I don't know why this everything has gotten so laggy all of a sudden. My, my computer's not doing anything, so it's like, I don't know, it's probably just the game. Alright, firing on this guy. Fucking laser misses. Jesus Christ. There you go. Target eliminated. Receiving you. Oh. Maybe it was just the <laughs> I guess it was just the Griffin. Everything seems to be fine now. All right, I don't want to expose to the uh Sentinel. Do we try and get everybody back over here? I think we do. Roger. Let's try and get everybody back on this side. I know I don't know how the adder is gonna fare though. 
try and get everybody back on this side. Still looking good for ammo. Firing on target. Oh yeah, man. Two big ones hit. Nice. What can I do for you? Let's get up here. Got it. Max speed, no shooting. Try and hide behind our mechs here. See if we can get one last kill in on this guy uh -huh. before uh, our vehicles go down here. Probably not, but we're going to attempt it. God, I don't like this at all. At all. I think I want to take the chance and get him over here. I think we take the chance and get him over here. I know we're exposing to like three mechs here, but uh, we're going to drop probably four of these. Wait, how many can we fire? We can fire three, okay. Locking in target. Nothing. It's fine. Of course, I missed. I think he's standing in fire. Standing by. Oof. Yeah, you're pretty much done. That guy decides to lob ATMs. The battle's over for you. Can we get hidden? We can. That's going to expose our damage side, though. Well, fuck it. We'll do it. And then if that guy decides to move forward and target you with his ATMs, he'll kill you, but then put himself in a really bad position. So we'll take a shot at this guy. Well, that's actually not bad. Might get a couple of engine crits. Sound like something got crit. Scored a critical hit. Okay. So we're technically even. Although we're not well, I guess we are technically even. Beautiful, we get to go first. We are technically even. Because um, I want to get on this guy now. Okay. Um, because um, their Clint is almost dead. And our uh, Miss Lynx is almost dead. So we're kind of technically even. I know it's lousy chances to hit, but... Okay. This is fire suppression is what this is. Oh, he's got like no stability. He's running something that's like giving him no stability. Although the fact that this guy has got barely any weapons leads me to believe he might be a melee... And the name might be a melee mech. Because he's got really low stability, he could have like stuff on him that's like dropping his... Uh, dropping his stability but increasing his uh, movement or something. Okay. They got 19, which is the solitaire. So it's the Medusa and the Rabid Coyote. This guy is going to go down pretty fast. Sentinels don't have a lot of armor. So he'll go down pretty quickly, although he could still kill somebody with one shot. So we have to watch out for that. What turn are we on? 19. So do we have anybody else? We don't have anybody else that goes up before the Rabid Coyote. So we'll see what he does in a minute here. This guy is running. Or is he? No, he's moving in between... Yeah, he's getting behind the wall there. Oh, he's moving forward. It's probably a good idea to keep the pressure up on me at this point, on this side. So it has to, it forces me to divide my forces. Yeah, you run. You run. Shit, I'm in fire. Ooh, took a heavy hit there. Wasn't a heavy hit, but... Awaiting orders. Moving into strike position on this guy over here. Aye, aye.
Waiting for my opening. Okay, now I can turn you. No. A little bit at least. On the move. Not a lot, but it's not gonna help. It won't help that much, but you never know. Locked on. At one point we're gonna get lucky with these. At the very least, that guy's probably generating extra heat per turn. <laughs> At the very least. We'll see. I want these two guys, hopefully, maybe to take a shot at this guy. It just depends on what this guy's going to do. I don't know yet. But I want Dragon to move before Smirk does. Oh. Ready for that's order. interesting. That is a very interesting move. Roger. I will accept the invitation to damage you. Confirmed. Firing. Okay, the large one hit the least. Tags on. Commander? Get out of the flames, please. Affirmative. We are not in a good position, but there's not much not very many places we can go at this point. Firing I want to try and get target. the kill on him before you go away. Nope. Waiting for orders. Coordinates received. We'll take a piece of that other guy too. We're not gonna get the guy up close, but firing. Ah, the chems missed, but both ACs hit. Okay. Still all right. Still okay. I don't know why that guy hasn't moved in yet, but if this was me, that sentinel could be set up over here or have him just come around here and start shooting down this way to force me to move out of here. Right? As soon as you get a long range big gun into a position that just compromises everybody, it would just force me to move. Right? And then you could just like sweep this way with a bunch of mechs. Oh, he's decided that he wants to give it to us, so we will give it to him instead. He is going to contribute to the salvage pile, hopefully this turn. We're going to move everybody to attack him. I mean, this, I mean, it depends. If the rabbit coyote keeps moving this way, great. Ah, uh, clean shot. Okay, miss. Oh, he shot his own guy. Thank you for the help. Appreciate it. Anything you can do to help out? Oh, is he bleeding? Or he, I guess he took damage from overheat? I guess so. Okay, you keep moving that way. The adder scared him off. Standing by. I like to think that the adder scared him off. It's most likely not the case, but... Got it. Okay, not the best positioning, but we are going to take it because we want to unload as much as we can on this guy without overheating. So that's going to be... This. Roger. Big one missed again. It's fine. Enough of the small ones will hit, I think. How, how are we looking here? So that's the other side. So his inner torso on his right side, this side, no wait, this side, no wait, this side. So the side that we're shooting at what? No. is severely damaged. We're already hot, but we'll move into oh, here. Right. I think I can probably leave the machine guns off for this. Can I shift click the machine guns off? No, I can't. I was hoping I could just like hit shift and they would all turn off, but we'll fire all this. Alright, we landed two. Nice. Receiving you. Not the best. I'll take the trees as defense. To position. That's pretty good chances to hit. We'll fire it all. Firing all weapons. Okay, we penned somewhere. 
Now, where was it? Arm, probably, yeah. Hopefully that's where his main weapon is. Ready for orders. That's really good chances to hit. We will take that. Affirmative. Two hits. Take the arm. Medium heavy gun, large heavy gun. I mean, I hate losing the salvage, but it pretty much puts this guy into a useful, useful, useless status. Turn our side away from him in case he decides to sacrifice himself and go after us, but we're going to continue firing on this guy. I'm not going to plink that um, Critical hit, Commander. solitaire for, for a handful of Ready damage when I can possibly finish off a mech this turn, so... We're not going to bother, we're just going to shoot this guy. Keep the damage up, man. He'll go down eventually. Yeah. He will go down eventually. This guy's going on 18, eh? He goes before all of us, so we'll see what he does. Hopefully losing that arm is going to force him to run. Like his torso is almost gone too, right? Nope, he's going to take the chance. Oof. Well, you tried. Thanks for showing up. Now what we need to do is let the Adder and the Mislinks do their job while we use the Sentinel and the Wavern as fire support so that people don't move into position to shoot at them. Uh, they're finally moving that guy in. Where is... There he is. The Medusa. So the Medusa is a threat to both of these two guys. But not anymore. Okay. I'm here. Okay, here we go. We'll do more damage. Or better chance to hit with the flamer. We'll go with the rest of these. Actually, you know what? Let's uh, go this route. All right. There we go. Next, watch those heat levels. Yeah, sorry about that, buddy, but uh, shit had to be done. <laughs> I don't mind taking the extra heat this turn. We cleared that guy from our backside. We can pause for you. we can pause for a moment. We don't have to do anything. Uh, you can just sit right there. Stabilizing and bracing. And you can sit right here. Good to go. Commander? Alright, Love and Thunder. Hammer this guy. Roger that. Slowly getting there. It must be horrible. Good to go. To just stand there and get killed by LRMs. I've been watching a lot of Mech Warrior online lately. And I'm not skilled. I don't have the dexterity in my hands to be able to play that game any any kind of ability he's done probably enough engine crits finally receiving you but it's like I've, I've been watching it lately because it's there's been a few builds that um i think it's, I think it's an italian youtuber i can't remember jx something or other Let's hit him hard. and there's been a lot of toxic builds lately like they've been calling the lrm spam skill it's a skill build because it really isn't i mean you're just lobbing lrms right it's like here comes the skill right because all you have to do is get a target lock and then fire right and you just you'll hit rather than maneuvering into position and uh, honestly positioning is like half of the fun of this game right it's like a chess match all right the waver is out of the way Ready for orders. That's a bit better. Moving to position. But then they also have these builds with like people have been using um, 
I guess it's uh, the Piranha because of the number of hard points or something. And Locking fire starters off. and whatever. And they just load them up with as many mach like small machine guns and like small lasers as possible. And because they're ridiculously fast, they can just run into the enemy. And as long as they're not being hampered by anything, they can pull down assault mechs. Oh shit, that guy's still accurate. They can pull down assault mechs with ease. Like I just watched this guy do the thing and it's like, I'm like, wow, are you serious? How is this still a thing? Right? I don't understand how, as a mechanic, the obvious nerf for that Commander. is reduce the number, like, um, reduce the amount of weapons any mech can have at any one time, right? That's the obvious reduction for that. So even if you could get in with that many weapons, the chance of you actually... Oh, we'll take that shot. Locked on. The chance of you actually um, doing a lot of damage before dying is would be a lot lower. Orders? Uh, why? Oh, you know what it is? But I mean, I'm just an observer of the game. I don't really know a lot about it. So, I mean, I'm only making an off-the-cuff co off comment. But that would be my initial thing, is reduce the number of actual Good to go. hard points that you have to mount weapons. Or minimize the amount of machine guns. Like, because some guy running like, holy shit, that guy just died. LBX Enemy ammo. Down. Not running case. Well, slowly making this game ours now. Standing by. Well, if you're going to give me that shot, I'm going to take it. I don't think I can get the kill on this, but we're going to go for it anyway. At least it'll scare the shit out of this guy. But yeah, I mean, if you lower the Fire amount of energy and, like, ballistic hard points on a light mech, hey. that would go a long way to probably help saving that game. Um, I got an idea here. Got an idea here. Oh, I should have used my uh, skill. Damn it. You're gonna hide, are you? Oh, no, you're gonna fight. That's the best mech to shoot at with the plasma cannons because this thing generates like, no heat. No heat at all. The Ultra 2 and those chem lasers just generate like nothing for heat. Here comes their Sentinel, though. Shit. As soon as it zoomed in on my Mac, I'm like, yep, it hit me. I'm here. Can't get cocky, though, at this point. Cannot get cocky. They can still kill me. Let's... We only got, like... Really? 24 on this guy. How are you doing armor-wise? I mean, you're a bit soft. I don't know if I'm willing to waste my missiles on a 24% chance to hit yet. We got two turns of fire left, so... Awaiting orders. Yeah, you can't be on that side, so let's move over here. I want to see if we can get a quick strike on this, uh... Wavern. Or not Wavern, the, uh, Medusa. Waiting for orders. This I'm willing to take, though. Let's soften that Sentinel Receiving. up a bit if we can. We still got ammo back here. We got five turns of firing, so let's just get into it. Actually, do I want to go against this guy? Probably I'll hit with more. All right, 15 points. We'll take it. They got to make something happen now. They got no trees for cover. Ooh, run through the fire, are you? Yeah. I don't know what took him so long. Don't know what took him so long. What now? Shit, I have to move now. Oh boy, here we go. 
Let's make it happen, people. Let's make it happen. Yep. Oh, yeah. Nice hits. Nice hits. That's what I want to see. Waiting for orders. Wait, that's my... My, yeah, my main weapon's in the other arm, though. I'm not worried about that arm. Can we get a solid line on that guy? He's in partial cover no matter what. Alright, let's make something happen here. Try to make something happen, that is. Okay, a little damage. It should push him over. Yep, nice. I think he goes on. S we got no. We still got more to go. Wrangler still has to go. Where are you positioning? Okay. Good stuff. Might be able to take that arm next Receiving turn. You. Okay, let's get Good to here. Go. Make some shit happen, people. Let's make this shit happen. Firing a full salvo. How you oh. like me now? Down to one of three. Guys moving in. Yeah. I'm getting real banged up here. I can see that. They're still dangerous. It's not gonna save you. Damn it. I'm stuck. Well, oh, shit, I thought that was my guy there for a second, and I almost shit myself. I was like, did I just bail out? Are you fucking kidding me? Like, I was ready to just, like, lose my shit. Ah, fucking shit. Chance to hit, man. Garbage. That's the left. Position confirmed. Well, I'll try and get ahead of this guy next turn. Firing. Ah, fucking big one's missing all the time. Waiting for orders. Twelve. Well, take the best chance to hit. Target acquired. All right. God, that Sentinel's fast. There must be a really good pilot in there. He's taking a shot at my guy here. I'm in trouble. Fuck. Critical hit. Critical hit. I'm here. I gotta make this guy worry so he doesn't go after the sentinel. Oh, we go before him anyway. Okay, good. It's fine. Um, I think I would rather apply a little heat to this guy than uh, right. a laser hit. Alright, one laser hit. At least it's something. Orders? I think that guy's turned is 
arm a little towards me, I think. Where the Gauss rifle is? I might be able to get that arm this turn. Locking on target. Okay, the big one hit, nice. I should run the chance. I'm out of long range missiles. Yes, Commander. Let's go here. And let's hope we get that arm. I copy. Okay, good damage. Okay, that opens Commander. it up for Ren with the LRMs. Not that great of a chance to hit, but Firing. still. Okay, he's unstable still. He goes, and then we go. He's going to give us his back. That thing can put out a lot of damage. I'm taking heavy hits, Commander. Reporting. Throttle at full. We can't expose with this guy to the uh To the Sentinel. There's no way. Oh, laser hit. Okay. Tag miss, though. Ah, uh, fucking Sentinel is so damn fast! Ah, we missed it by one. One more point, and we probably could have blew through his side here, but we'll see what he does. Oh, he's gonna push. That's... I don't even... Sure. You do you, buddy. Orders. You do you. Nope. Yep. Question is though. Oh yeah. Okay, good. It's in good range for the Ultra 2. Roger. There goes the leg. Destroyed some Goss ammo. Critical hit, Commander. Don't know if it was all his Goss ammo, but at least it was some of it. Okay, now we can focus on this last guy. Alright, tugboat. Hey. Going as fast as I can. This guy's got so much firepower and so much armor. I don't know who he's gonna shoot for. It's gonna make us real hot, but I don't think heat is effective. Well, it is a little bit. Targeting Shit, just one hit. Well, at least he's unsettled. We got that going for us. You know what? I wonder if I should move the hunter out and let him... Oh, shit, too late. Oh, he's moving through fire. Ah! Fuck. Receiving you. Well, we did kind of bite off more than we could chew. Oh, man. Um. Go to here. I'm not going to shoot this guy. Because I want to backstrike. I'm going to see if I can eliminate this guy this turn. This definitely removes the Goss rifle. How many smalls can we get on there? Three, four, four. Sounds good. Tango down. Commander.
Well, acknowledged. No time like the present. Oh, for fuck's sakes, you and your fucking melee bullshit. Fail to connect. Come on, do something. All right, a little bit of damage. You go before him. I'm here. Back up. Everyone's got to shoot, way. so let's give them room. Okay, this guy's going on 14. We go... This guy does not go before him. How? What's our chance to hit? Pretty good. Not going to nerf this guy. I'm not going to nerf his chance to hit. We're just going to fire this off like this. One in the back. Nice. What now? Oh man, I thought for sure this was going to be real bad. Okay, we're going to take the heat on this one. Because fuck this guy. That looks yes! There it is, folks. Mission successful. Well, you know, we took a lot of damage. The vehicles went down. I think we lost a pilot too. Let's find out here in a second. Oh shit, I went... Ah, I hit next instead. Just, ah, crap. Damn it. I see the arrow and I just click on it. Oh well, we'll find out in a minute. Ah, solitaire parts. Three parts of a viper. Four laser, four missile hard points. We could rebuild the Wavern. But there's a full Viper. Oh, there's so much stuff here. I'm glad I went max salvage on this. Player, player clan mortars. Oh. Look at all the XL engines, three of them. Okay. I'm thinking that Viper would be nice at 40 tons because we could definitely replace the mislinks with it. Clint parts, like, eh, whatever. Griffin parts, we don't really need. Only two parts of a rabid coyote, 55 tons. That was a pretty darn good mech, I gotta say. That Like, that close range damage was like significant he really wrecked us there at the end like significantly wrecked us that's the, pretty much the same as what we have so I think I'm gonna grab the three Viper parts do we want to rebuild our wave it means taking it completely out of service and bringing it back with an extra two missile hard points urban combat version eh? Heavy armor, jump jets, versatile weapons, powered by a 180 core, which is underpowered. ER large, LRM 10, and four smalls, and three SRM 2s, or streak 2s. It's not a bad loadout. Or do we want to grab weapons? Medium improved heavy laser. Regular medium heavy. Clan Plasma Cannon, though. Doing no real physical damage, but it is doing um, a lot of heat damage at range, too. That's the great thing about it. If we have a nice fire support mech, it could just stand back and use Plasma Cannons. We need ammo for it, though. Is there some ammo down here? There's a double load of ammo. Which means we'd have to sacrifice the uh, Viper, which I don't want to do. Slick Sweet's not bad. Want to just how many XL? I mean, we got we got one clan double heat sink. These are just regular double heat sinks. Uh, could take that for the C bills, although I'm thinking probably not. Two forty core, three hundred maybe. 
Ooh. Come on, man. Shit, I get off the pot. Let's take the wavering part. As stupid as it sounds. Oh, I got four AP Goss weapons here, too. I can't remember if we had Goss ammo. Do we have Goss ammo? Like mag shot ammo? We have four mag shot ammo. Ooh, do I want to run six AP Goss on rather than machine guns? These are like half a ton each, right? Eighteen damage each for half a ton. You know, it's been a long time since I've used these. I wonder if we now. Nah, you know what? I don't know why I'm doing that. It's like small caliber weapons. It's like we're already moving past that phase. As interesting as they are, I mean. Okay, let's just go with them. Let's just try it. All right, we got a Griffin part, a solitaire part, wavering part. Nice, it did show up. Two medium lasers, medium approved laser, medium pulse laser. The armor can go. The case we're definitely keeping. Case two, nice. Clan cockpit will keep. SLDF will keep. We got two cores, LB10X cluster ammo, and double plasma ammo. So now I can take plasma cannons if I see them. So that was a really, I mean, we just dropped the armor and that was pretty much it. That was a really good roll. Yeah, Ren has died. Oh, sorry, buddy. You did hang on there until the end. Ah, 156,000 in 27 days. Yeah, sure. What I might do now that we're all like, that we've got a lot of mechs in repair and stuff and we got some new mechs coming up. We got the ability to assemble a Viper, which I'm going to actually do before the... Uh, I mean, I shouldn't do it before the financial report. But let's have a look at it now before we leave the episode. Um, hey, Commander. As I'm going to probably do side. some adjustments. The adder didn't take any damage. Wow. I'm going to adjust the adder. I'm going to pull all the uh, medium lasers off. I'm going to put a couple of heavy mediums and then a bunch of AP Goss weapons in. I think that's what I'm going to do with this guy. We'll see how it works out, though. But let's have a look now in storage. Bring that Viper forward. Here you are, here. Let's just ready this guy and see how much we get for it. That neck you asked for. Yeah, it's man. For we don't have really anything else. Pack Hunter 2. 30 tons. Scorpion, Howler. Okay, not much down here. So let's have a look at the Viper. So we got it. We did get the... Okay, we, we got the ammo. So we got a clam plasma cannon too. And the plasma ammo. So if we repair you. Got some AP Goss rifles as well. So how much weight are we looking at working with this guy? Not a lot. How much do these plasma cannons weigh? Three tons. So it must it had one plasma, medium approved heavy and some mag shots. So I mean not that great. Lots of hard points, but no real weight to add stuff to, you know. So this guy's a back striker. Like once we max out the armor, there's like no weight for anything. No weight for anything. We got like five tons. So, I mean, really, it's heavy weapons on this guy. That's all you can put on. Like, do we have a... Uh, I mean, it would really probably be a pair of these guys. You know, and then something small to, to balance it out a little bit. So we don't have to worry about heat. Although the heat on this thing is pretty darn good. Uh, let's just go with the clan double heat sink kit. Wow, we're running low on heat sink kits too, eh? So that mitigates the heat and then a bunch of small weapons. Like if I'm pulling the machine guns off of the uh, adder. Or maybe we go the AP Goss on this. They, was, they were here before. 
you know. Let's have a quick look here. Four AP Goss, and then it's 50 rounds per mag shot ammo. So these things don't really these things don't explode, so they can go wherever. Don't have to worry about case. Got a lot of jump jets on this guy. Yeah, see, we're already over a little bit. But do I really need... Oh, we've only got... We go four AP Gauss rifles. Oh, I can't put one in that arm? I guess I can go in this arm, though. With four AP Gauss rifles... Kind of underwhelming. Without a really great chance to hit with those lasers, it's like. Although I guess we could put. We have heavy ferro. We do. There we go. We can gain a little bit of weight that way. So what's the range on these AP Goss rifles? 390. So if we do that. Grab some more ammo. Where are you here? Grab some more mag shot ammo. And then round out the rest. And then drop a tiny bit of armor. Maybe like that. Actually, you know what? Since it's so very rare, I lose my legs. I would rather have more in the back center torso, I think. So, I mean, there's that. That's what? Two, four, seven AP Gauss rifles. And with the speed of this thing, Getting in for back strikes with the medium improved heavies and the APs is just going to just destroy people's backs. Plus the chance for crit. So we got seven in a hundred rounds. So we've got what? 14 turns of firing, which is tons. And that way, if we lose a bit of ammo, we've got ammo on the other side. And what's our jump range? Eight? Max jump. Wait, 25 meters, one hex. How the fuck does that work with eight jump jets? We should have at least a jump of eight. It's just miscalculating it, probably. Yeah, one hex per jump jet, probably. So I think that's the build for this guy. I'm going to validate this. It's it's pretty cheap. 22 days is the only, the only issue with it. Yeah, let's go that route. And then I don't have to adjust the adder or anything. We can just leave it like that for now. Long Although, man, we need definitely need an energy targeting sure. computer on this thing. Like, we could put a tar like. Here's the thing: you could put a targeting computer in here for the head, but then you need to pull out a laser to add the component to give you plus one to hit, which is really only adds, amounts to about six percent. It's not a lot. And like I was saying before, I would rather have six percent. I would rather have six chances to hit at thirty percent than five chances at thirty-six percent. It's only marginal difference. It's even like a fifty-fifty percent chance to hit with six. It's only fifty-six. Like it, it, the diminishing returns is like severe. I find, unless I'm doing the math wrong and someone like I'm willing to be convinced otherwise, but. Dropping that, that ton for a targeting computer. Which I don't think we have at the moment. Yeah. So we need to re we really need to find an energy uh, an energy computer for the head. But that's going to be it for this episode, guys. I am going to end it here. Uh, what I'll probably do, like as I was saying, is I'll advance the timeline. Um, so we can get most of the mechs back. Because I don't know... 
next month if we're going to get a duel or not. It's been pretty consistent. I've been getting one a month, which is nice, but um, I don't know if I'll get one. And if I don't, I'm just going to advance the timeline, work on the mechs a bit, and then when we come back, uh, we'll have a new lineup, and we'll go from there. But uh, I'm going to end the episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And please drop your comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.